Thomas on a Fuse TV with Trent McDade. Yes, sir. Great. Now, what is your take on the fight? Uh, well, before I get into anything, I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for you know giving me the opportunity to fight. And uh, um, at the at the end of the fight, they said you know winner by split decision. So I was like, you know, all right, that's kind of strange. I, I still should get it, and then they gave it to him. But, I don't know. You can't leave the name to the judge. So. I, I spoke with him, and he feels like he actually clearly won the fight. Do you agree with that? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to have to say no. Absolutely not. You had him on the ground pretty much throughout the whole fight. You Don, dominated him on the ground. When you had him on the ground, he did have some good shots to the face, but clearly you kept your composure. And I, all three rounds, you clearly had the advantage. Thank you. Thank you. Why, did the, why do you believe the judges gave that round, gave that fight to him? Uh, I don't know. They don't like the cornrows or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. I have nothing. I don't have nothing to say. Do you clearly believe that this is probably the second fight you had at Rise of the Warrior where it's been judged wrong, even going back to the fight against Daniel Campbell? Um, I mean, I could give Campbell the, that fight because, you know, he was tagging me up. And, you know, he was real good. But uh, this one, I, I, I honestly really feel like I should have won. Where do you go from here? Um, I don't know. I just gotta. I guess I have to pray about it and talk to my family, talk to my coaches. Uh, you know, I, I don't. I, at this point, I really don't know. Great, Kendrick Thomas and Fuse TV. Any last words? No, sir. Thanks for having me. You welcome. All right, thank you. You welcome.